So in this burrow, I have a fairly new purchase. Pelanobius muticus, the king baboon tarantula. She's still fairly small given how huge this slow-growing species can get, but she's still definitely a spider that commands respect. Now king baboon tarantulas have a very nasty reputation. Uh, it's said that they are hyper-aggressive, that they have a pretty nasty bite, that their, their venom is decently powerful compared to other tarantulas. And that's where this experiment comes into play. Over here, I have a piece that I cut out from my practice suture kit. It has the thickness and the, and the feel very similar to that of skin. And this way, we can get her to strike at this material. And we can get um, an idea of what her bite is like. Sorry for those that were hoping the experiment was me actually getting bitten. That's not something that I want to try. So when she bites this, we'll be able to, to look at a few different aspects. Number one, we can look to see at the size of the puncture wound. This spider is known to have pretty powerful fangs. Um, though she's a little bit smaller, she should still have the ability to, to produce a pretty big puncture wound. Um, as you can only imagine once you have one that's eight, nine inches that, that sinks its fangs into you, how big that puncture wound can be. Furthermore, we can also check to see, is this a species that's going to inject a full load of venom or possibly even just a dry bite? Um, so that'll be something very interesting to see, and we will find that out momentarily. If you look at the area that the needle holder is protruding forward, you can actually see two of the multiple puncture wounds inflicted by the spider. While these holes look small, they're fairly large and deep for a tarantula, highlighting the relatively large fangs of the species. It's difficult to see, but I was actually able to squeeze some venom out of the puncture wounds, indicating that these were by no means dry bites. In conclusion, the king baboon tarantula is not a species you want to mess with. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed my experiment. I know somebody who didn't. If you guys have any other ideas for experiments you want to see, feel free to comment in the section below. Also, if you want to see some pictures of some really cool animals, you can follow me on Instagram at SaminalPlanet, though there's a link in the information below.